Hey guys, we're gonna be factory storing this Netgear. Now this is an extender and right on the side, you guys are gonna see these buttons and there's a hole right there. It says factory reset. What do you need? Well, you need something like this because there's a button internally and then you're gonna feel like you're pushing onto something and just hold on to it for a little bit. And there we go. So as soon as you see this flashing and just turning off and then back on, you actually did the factory reset. If you just push it once and then just let go right away, it's not gonna work out. You have to hold on to that button, that's the internal button in there, and then it's actually factory reset. So usually you would do this if you went on and forgot your password, for example, or maybe you just wanna change everything, and start all over, this is the way to do it. So just grab any tablet or phone that you have, go into your Wi-Fi, and then from your Wi-Fi you should see something like this. Netgear extension. So from here, you're gonna set up everything just like you did when it was brand new. So right now you should see this popping up. From here, you're gonna do new extender setup. Technically now it's factory set back to brand new. You're gonna go on and create an account. So go on and create an account. Or if you have an account, go ahead and put it in. And then don't forget to select a security question and the answer right there. Once you fill that up that information, just go into next. And then from here, you have to choose these. So right now, this is a Wi-Fi range extender. So we're gonna do that. And keep in mind that if you're doing this, go on and plug this in really close to your router. So that way you don't have any issues. What I'm gonna do in this case is select this right here. And then from, from i5G, same deal. So that's in my case. Once you do that down here below, just go into next once again. And right now what you need to do is just put in passwords for each one of these. So maybe you guys just have one, just like me, and just put in that password that you have for your router right now. So you're not making a new password. This is just the current password that you have in your router for your Wi-Fi at the moment. Once you put in the passwords, go into next once again, and then it's gonna set up your connection. I do wanna mention that you should be close to your router once again, because this fails, if you're not close, so make sure to be close and then you can move it around the house and see if it works. From here, it's gonna ask you to enter a network name or just leave it as is. So it's pretty much gonna copy your network name that you're extending out or you can go on and select your own. So again, in my case, what I'm gonna do is just putting new YouTube channel, I'm gonna put extender. And that way I know that that's exactly what I want to connect up to my extender. So we'll call this one 5G. After doing so, we're just gonna go into next and it's gonna apply the settings. After this, we're pretty much gonna be done. And I do recommend if you forgot your password for your Netgear to just do the factory set, it's gonna be a lot easier than trying to figure out other stuff. At this point, it should refresh and it's gonna go ahead. I can see my extenders in there. I can test them out. So I'm gonna to connect to the 5G one, put in the password. Once you put in your password, it's supposed to connect up and then you can test out the speed to see maybe it's too far away. Um, it tells me it's weak security. Yes, it is. I can set that up even further, a little bit more. But for now, it's just about getting this to work. So at this point, I can see that it's hooked up. I can go test out the speed. So if you go into Google and just put in speed test, you're gonna see something like this. You can run a speed test just to see that everything's working fine for you and that you're getting the speed that you want. Uh, usually the more extenders that you have, if you're too far away, the speed will go slower and slower. However, this should help you out. And from what I can see in the speed test, it's not bad. Because up here, my second level, I don't get more than that anyways. And there's some devices up here that just have horrible Wi-Fi range. So you need that extender set up up here. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. As you guys can see, your lights should look like so. Router, device, and then power. And you're all set up. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.